right? So I had everybody on mute because my kiddo. <laughs> Welcome to the greatness of working at home. You know, it, the flexibility of it all, I guess, is really nice. Sometimes, though, it's managing the school stuff with work stuff is kind of tough. I have a three-year-old and you have a three-year-old coming up every five minutes asking you questions or can you give me a snack? And it's, it's definitely jarring and uh, yeah, it just kind of changes your, your thought process. So I completely understand. I try to remind myself that whenever there's going to be a time that I get to have so much time with my kids, right? It definitely has brought home to light the hustle and bustle of what life was normally like, you know, with activities or sports. And now we've got this very much uninterrupted, consistent time and, you know, just trying to find the gratitude in all of it. Uh, we've got a crisis going on, I get that, but we still have to be about the business of helping kids and families. And that just doesn't stop because we have a crisis. And just as much as David and everybody at OCA has been front and center stepping up to make sure that the CPC judges are taken care of, is the same way that, our, that, that the permanency court needs to be there helping our kids and families while this crisis is going on. I'm not backing down Cause the future, the future is new We did a group lunch the other day, which was really fun. And we did, um, we use the video chat function pretty regularly, so I still get a lot of FaceTime with my coworkers, which I personally as an extrovert really need to like see people's faces and talk to people. So that's been really nice. Do you have any tips for some of the OCA employees that, you know, this is not usually what <laughs> they do? Have a routine. I try to get up and just work my normal nine to six. Checking in with people and really normalizing video chat. There is just something very isolating about being at home. And so sometimes I'll start to like write an email and then I'll just be like, hey, hop, I'll hop on Teams chat and just be like, hey, do you have just a second? Can we just talk about this? And the video chat like really cuts down on my personal social isolation as an extrovert. Um, and, and so those are the two big things, having a routine and really trying to get face time. So as the front desk person this week, I have officially telecommuted. So I'm still required to go in every other day to handle mail and warrants and mail things out. I still have to scan and upload all the invoices and travel vouchers and things like that that come in the mail so that finance and operations can still operate from home. But I still spend several days a week, um, roughly half days, still dealing with packages and receiving and all of the other things that the front desk just really can't do from home. It's been interesting. It's been um, very creepy. I miss all of you guys. Please come back. <laughs> so, but the office just isn't the same without everybody. But with um, those of us that have been in there, we've been social distancing, but definitely are happy to see at least a human face in person. <laughs> but I think we are managing as best that we can. And, and I'm, you know, I'm really grateful for our service staff and our IT people because they just really, you know, hit the ground running so quickly. And without them, you know, we could have been so much farther behind. And with David and everybody, it's just been so incredible that we were able, we really weren't down for very long in the grand scheme of things. The future is now. I do miss my coworkers. Um, you know that that camaraderie that we had. I miss that. <laughs> and of course, no one likes the reason why we're doing it, but. I am hopeful and I'm glad that uh, you know OCA is on board with trying to uh, keep everybody safe and um, just really I, I'm very impressed with the way that they had us just like immediately start. Right. So 
you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very thankful for that. Our pets, I sent you some pictures of them, and yeah. sometimes they get really, really antsy because they're like, well, mom's here, so why isn't she paying me any attention? <laughs> Which I'm sure that everybody else who has kids, kids, same thing. It's, it has been a privilege to be able to work at home and not have to worry about being exposed, you know, unless you absolutely have to. Yeah, and I would just say, you know, to everybody, um, you know, be encouraged. I know it's hard sometimes to just deal with everything that's going on in your family and your responsibilities, but just be encouraged. We'll make it through.